Unresolved problem segment tonight, troubling accusation against former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. A man named Raymond Maxwell, former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State, who was disciplined the Benghazi Libya incident where Ambassador Chris Stevens was killed by terrorists has told investigative reporter Cheryl Atchison that Mrs. Clinton's staff may have removed documents pertinent to the investigation. State Department spokesperson Marie Harf denied that yesterday, calling the accusation without merit. And joining us now from Washington, Fox News Chief Washington Correspondent James Rosen and the aforementioned Cheryl Atkinson, who now reports for the Daily Signal. So, Cheryl, what do we know for sure here? What's in fact? Because this is a disgruntled former State Department official. He does have an axe to grind. So what do we know for sure? Well, I would also remind you he was never charged with anything, was put on paid leave, was cleared, and came back and retired. But what we know is he's a very well-respected 21-year Foreign Service officer who supported President Obama, in fact, personally contributed to his campaign, who was caught up in this Benghazi controversy, and as head of the Maghreb office, deputy assistant secretary that handled Libya, it was his office that put together documents when the Accountability Review Board called for them, and he discovered by happenstance that one of his office directors had been asked to perform tasks on the weekend uh, around him, basically, without being told. This was someone he describes as had been close to the seventh floor. Secretary of Clinton and her staff had been assigned there previously. And he decided to pop in and check on it for himself over a weekend. And he went in on a Sunday afternoon. And he alleges that what he found was um, an operation that was described by this office director as an effort to separate out documents that could be embarrassing or damaging to the seventh floor, which is Secretary Clinton and her staff. All right. Now, he didn't see any documents, though, removed himself, did he? Not removed, no. He went through documents. He went through some stack, uh, stacks of papers in an office, he says, with this office director and an intern at one point. What he looked through were some cables and telegrams, he says, between uh, Tripoli and the State Department in the pre-attack days in July and August. Um, he felt funny about it. He questioned it and said, isn't this, according to him, unethical? And the office director, he says, replied, Ray, these are our orders. And then he said after he had been there a few minutes, in walked uh, Cheryl Mills, the chief of staff for Secretary Clinton, he says, and the deputy chief of staff, Jake Sullivan. They spoke to him briefly, acknowledged him, uh, kind of Cheryl Mills, he said, asked why he was there, who was he? And then uh, they appeared to check in on the operation, according to him, and left. And I might add, if we really want to get all the facts, I assume there are swipe cards and some video records and people that were in the room that can be identified. There were other people he's given names of. We could. You okay, know, Congress at least and could that, find that out. could probably happen if anybody cared, but I don't think you're going to get that from the administration. But one final thing, if no documents were removed, scrubbed, if they weren't taken out or destroyed, then I don't know if there's any scandal. Well, why were they down there separating I, would I mean, be a question, I but I agree, if no documents no. were removed, That's the then... crux of this matter. Yes. If Congress can get to the point where you have a videotape, you see somebody take something like this, put it in their coat, and get out of there, then you have or, a scandal. Or you have someone who took part and was knowledgeable, under oath, asked the right questions, and if it happened, perhaps admits to it. All right. Now, uh, Rosen, are they mad about this at the State Department? Are they going to call me a sexist again for reporting this tonight? Are they upset? <laughs> What's going to happen? Look, let's be clear, Bill. There is no invective that can be hurled at you that is 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 too minor. Yeah, that we the haven't point heard. is, uh, the the State Department's position on this is that Mr. Maxwell was accusing Mrs. Clinton's staff of sanitizing uh, documents before they were turned over to the State Department's Accountability Review Board. The position of the State Department is the Accountability Review Board had access to everything it needed, unfettered access to all documents. Of course, the State Department spokesperson Marie Harf, who wasn't present during the first Obama term uh, in the State Department at the time in answering questions about this today, uh, couldn't really answer the question of whether the ARB, the Accountability Review Board, uh, couldn't possibly know what, what it didn't have access to. Uh, one point about uh, this matter, Democrats on the House Oversight Committee, which has previously investigated Benghazi, have noted that Mr. Maxwell was formally interviewed by that panel last year with a transcript prepared, and despite many opportunities to do so, Mr. Maxwell never disclosed this shocking scene of obstruction of justice by high-level State Department officials that he now claims to have witnessed. That omission on his part at that time, along with
with other issues will ensure that if and when Mr. Maxwell testifies before the House Benghazi Committee, he will face some rough sledding in cross-examination. Yeah, why all, didn't you all, say it when you, you had the yes, first now, opportunity? Yeah, all of it. this is not to say that what Mr. Maxwell claims to have witnessed never happened, just that it bears a lot of further investigation yeah, before it can be deemed credible. Right. And, well, and, let, let me add that he did tell members of Congress, Cummings wasn't there, but he did report this a year ago to staff, Chaffetz, and Gowdy. Okay. All right. Well, we hope the uh, investigation does get to the bottom of it one way or another because I'm tired of having allegations that go nowhere. Cheryl Rosen, thank you.